hi i have to say i honestly love to plan for christmas nothing to do with presents i'm talking about spreadsheets it is actually my favorite time of the year for spreadsheets because it's, it will give me a chance to be creative and i want to show you uh, this spreadsheet that counts over time you see when it comes to spreadsheet it is very important to have consistency once you have uh, created consistency you can actually pinpoint a very specific condition within uh, the spreadsheet which you could pick up on and count so the condition I've set is um, OT for overtime and then you have a um, you have the number behind so I have actually set up the spreadsheet to count all the OTs along here um, I'm just going to copy this time just copy it um, at the moment um, this is menswear and these are all fake um, budgets at the moment is the remaining time is 841 okay so I'm going to paste in or I've just copy control shift V um, and you can see um, the counter actually counted the overtime which I've just done which is four hours so I'm going to paste it again you can see yep so the good thing about this formula is when you actually delete the um the shift the um overtime actually um is minus off here it will go back into the uh, time pot so i'm going to delete that you can see um, and i'm going to delete this one as you can see it will, it will just add the money back in which is i think um pretty cool because uh, when you have got loads of manager working in a department they're giving overtime to this person and overtime to that person it's hard to keep track where all the money are going to so last year I've done two spreadsheets one is for menswear so they got their own and one for children wear but they actually uh, sit in the same directory sharing the same pot of money so I've pulled the information across onto one spreadsheet so this is actually reading from another spreadsheet but the balance is actually being um, shared together like this so that's how you keep track of what, where the money is going to and the way I've set it up is um, by the trading period so uh, this this is trading period 10 and it will last for two weeks this is Black Friday last year and then uh, you go into trading period 11 here for four weeks until Christmas and then after Christmas it will go straight to uh, period 12 and that would be the end of the overtime bu budget so what I have done is I have actually categorized um, I've summed it all up I've summed it all up in period 10 period 11 and period 12 like this and it shows it actually tied up um, all the over time being used during this period this is where you end this is where you enter the amount which is fake because you don't get a thousand hour <laughs> for menswear um, and then what I've done is actually to break it down into the week so you can actually see every week how much you are actually spending because the key is to spend loads of money during uh, the, the Christmas and clearance week and you have a very slow lead up to it so why did I do this spreadsheet um, I suppose it's because I was really bored 
I'm just bored. I'm looking for new new things to do to challenge uh, my my head. So this is actually the back engine of um, the spreadsheet. So what it does, it actually you see these are like the five minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. So it's counting every minute. So this is one hour. So this is what is is counting. Okay. And this is actually um, every day for the, for that six, seven weeks or eight weeks. Um, and I split it up into um, the trading period. So this is two weeks and uh, hold on, let me just find the mouse. Here it is. And this one means it, it actually detected on December the 1st, there's one occurrence of a half an hour over time and then what happened is I, I would actually time um, this and add it all up here so this is actually the frequency so therefore there's four people actually have got one hour of overtime and then I just um, type time and added it all up like that yeah so I think the way I've done it is um, I actually done it within my ability because if I if I actually knew more formulas I would have uh, streamlined uh, everything but on the whole it works really really well yeah um, now the whole point of me doing this is actually works hand in hand with my Christmas calculator so this is my Christmas calculator from my last video. So what I would do is select the, the times and then the end times and then I would just copy it because it will give me the overtime minus the breaks already. And then I would just go over here and you look, you just look at this time and we'll paste it here. Control Shift V yeah and that's that is so easy that's so easy two years previous to this um i was doing the count in every 15 minutes and then i would have the 10 minutes for the closing but because um last year i've done the christmas calculator which counts even f more refi refined i had to change my formula to every five minutes but on a whole, um, I'm very pleased with um, the outcome. Yeah, that's why I love Christmas planning, because it's just so much fun to do.